Okay guys, welcome back. We're going to have a look at the last war against Firestorm, which we uh, beat them quite convincingly there. They didn't really turn up after, uh, with about, I don't know, seven or eight hours to go. I think they kind of packed in and decided that they weren't going to be uh, catching us. Pulled out a pretty good lead and uh, it was kind of game over for them. So we'll just look at some of the, uh, some of the raids that we did. Okay, we're going to look at uh, George's raid. Pretty good jump spell placement there. It uh, doesn't look like it's quite reaching, but it uh, it's covering both walls, and there, you know, there's five spaces in between those uh, walls there. So pretty good effort. Even that one there that didn't look like it was quite reaching, he's still he's still allowing the golems to jump over. That golem bursting into two has broken that wall open, which is. <laughs> Pretty cool. These walls are just no no match for these troops at all, just just going through them like a knife through butter. Okay. Gonna look up Walter White's red. Again, very low level walls for a, a Town Hall 10. Walter's getting the hang of these jumps now, that's good placement. Trying this video with the uh, the sound effects on. I don't know whether it's going to come out too clearly or not on the uh, the actual video, but we'll see how it goes. Let me know if you uh, prefer it with or without, and we'll uh, we'll sort that. No, Arch Queen's still got her ability. She's not had a scratch yet. <laughs> Good stuff. Jam's red, Jam's new to the clan, so welcome. Fairly low level defences there for a, a town hall 10. Rushed it, but uh, it's pretty good for us. If 
that jump spell there would have would have reached both those walls quite easily there and actually into these compartments if uh, if was so desired. Gonna help the Archer Queen out. <laughs> And look at Pun's Red. Four jumps, six golems. Pretty solid raid that. The uh, I think the number one has the pretty much a similar sort of base to that, which we'll see Eddie's raid on in, in a few minutes. Good effort, high uh, high damage points there. Okay, get uh, Walters of the raid. So we've got, I think there was three or four golems going in there and a couple of a couple of peckers and the last pecker that went in decided he was not going to go into that fight and he was going to go on a little tour but uh, not sure whether that was intended or not but again it, uh, it's working out pretty well. So, pretty, pretty lucky really to get this uh, this one wizard 
on the uh, the town hall like that. On a hero. Okay. Oops, not sure what happened then. What the hell's going on here now? Let's try this again. Okay, sorry about that. Go look at this raid that that I did. Kind of broke my own golden rule here really which is uh, not to attack from the direction where you're facing both infernos which I was kind of pushed pushed with time when I was doing this I had to, to nip out but not that that's an excuse it's a pretty obvious obvious thing to do and pun it punish me later on for, uh, for for doing it okay But again, it's the six column four jump routine. Should have really come in from from this side. Um, it would have been a much higher damage uh, percentage. But, uh, If you ever want a, a demonstration of uh, how important it is to save a few troops um, and certainly a few minions to the end just for getting the odd the odd few extra percentage then uh, just watch the end of this one because this, this is pretty close. So it's pretty much all, all over you know fairly quickly and uh, We're on to the to the extra few troops now. I thought this was game over at this point uh, on the second star, but uh, it's often often difficult to tell whether you're going to get one percent to two percent on on some of these buildings. Um, so I thought that would have been one percent, one percent, uh, and then maybe another percent on this camp over here. Obviously, making forty nine. That would have been that would have been it. But, uh, so what looked like one of those um, gold mines was two percent, the other one was one percent. So go figure on that one. Three was the other red that I did. Again, same, same attack. I think even the town hall was 1% then. <laughs> if any building should be worth more than 1%, it's the town hall, surely. Anyway, so we've saved these two extra troops. OK. 
Okay. Gonna look at Pony Trade on number two. Again, using the six column four jump. well to save his heroes fairly late then to come in I mean the uh, the Archer Queen took down the the first Inferno uh, and she didn't even take a scratch uh, which is pretty important when you get down to the core of the base so if you can get to the core of the base without taking a, any damage on your Archer Queen you're in, you're in good shape Stuff. Last one I'm going to look at is Eddie's raid on the, the number one. So you recognise this this layout or something very similar from I think the one that uh, Punit attacked earlier on. So Eddie's just picking off a few extra buildings. Get make sure he gets the extra percent. I'm going to send the hog in from this direction just to dry out the clan castle. A lot easier now to dry out the clan castle now that obviously people are going for the high damage point troops uh, in the clan castles, obviously, so there's not as many troops in, in the clan castle, so there's only sort of three or four troops in the clan castle. It, it, pretty much almost instantly gets drawn out as soon as anything gets gets anything near it. So everything's out in you know less than two seconds there. So he's gonna go for the poison. And there's the <laughs> there's the little ghost in the uh, the poison spell for the Halloween theme. It is worth doing this on, I mean, even though a dragon won't get killed, a level 5 dragon won't get killed, look how much its, it's damage has come down. It's down to about, what, 15-20% there? So that's just going to take one, one or two shots from a wizard and that's going down. So, I mean, this base is kind of designed to get get things wandering around this outside with this empty, empty sort of passage here. Fortunately, the um, heroes in the middle uh, drew the uh, the guys in. And you see the arch queen make her way into the into the middle very shortly. Fairly close on the Archer Queen getting this uh, town hall. Okay. So that's going to wrap up the uh, the video from the last war against um, against Firestorm so uh, let me know what you think about having sound on in the background if you, you want that or not and I'll just 
do whichever you prefer. I'm kind of indifferent. Um, so thanks, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.